Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back today for another spa night video with you guys. I think I'm gonna make this into a weekly thing for every Sunday, just because I find myself normally doing this every Sunday anyways. Just relax for the night and just chit chat. And that'll be just a little catch up area where we can just sit down and talk about things in the comment section. I really like sitting down and talking to you guys and obviously skincare, so let's get started. So for today's video, I'm going to be using, once again, my Freeman Feeling Beautiful avocado and oatmeal clay mask. I used this mask in last weekend's video and I absolutely love what it did to my skin. If you watched last week's video, you will see a very visible difference in how good my skin is now compared to what it was last weekend. I actually ended up using this mask twice this past week and it's obviously made a huge difference in the appearance of my skin. If you watched last weekend's video, you will see what I mean. Like my skin was very, very irritated in a lot of places and now it's I me. Mean, it's not obviously 100% clear, but it's a lot clearer than what it was. And I owe all of that to this beautiful mask. So for today's topic, we're going to be discussing YouTubers who take advantage of their subscribers. Actually, we're going to be discussing one in particular in today's video, but this is not the only person who does it. There are tons of YouTubers who unfortunately see their subscribers as their own like little ATM pretty much. And they like to ask way too much of them. All right, so yesterday morning, I was obviously on YouTube checking up on what was uploaded the night before. And I ended up going to my suggested videos list that we all have in our channel channels and one of Kendall Ray's videos popped up and it was this one. So I hate this video. I hate having to do this. Um, I feel bad even talking about this. This isn't the kind of content I want to be doing but I have to tell you guys what's going on and um, I really hope you guys take the time to listen to this video because it's really important. I have literally been crying so much the past 24 hours and I had a really bad panic attack today. I don't know if you guys, I tried to hide it with makeup but I have really bad bags and rice because I slept like four hours last night. So let me fill you guys in what's going on. I really need your help and I really need you to listen to this video. I am very concerned about my future here on YouTube and the future of this channel. At the rate that things are going right now, um, I probably will have to close my channel. This channel is everything to me. Um, I did it for years without being paid. I started this channel in 2012. It's been such a labor of love and I, YouTube's like the most important thing in my life and you guys are so important to me and this idea of losing it all is really scary. A very long time ago, I want to say like two years ago now, I was subscribed to Kendall Ray because she at first was a beauty related channel. However, over the past few months, she has quickly transitioned from being a beauty related channel to being a conspiracy theory channel, which even though I'm all for conspiracy theories, just the way she portrays certain things and the way she comes across in a lot of her videos is very, very arrogant and very ignorant with what she says. And I say that because especially when it comes to the comment section of the videos, if anybody doesn't agree agree with what she has to say or if anyone tries to argue a point against what she has talked about in the video, I've noticed that she gets very combative with certain people. She gets very, very nasty. It looks like she doesn't like to be proven wrong. She doesn't like to be argued with on her point. I could never support somebody who is against letting other people have their opinion on certain things, especially like, especially when it comes to conspiracy theories. Like, why is it that she's allowed to have her opinion on her channel, but she is so closed off and so against other people? people talking about their theories and their opinions on those conspiracy theories. You guys know here in my channel, I have an open door policy. You can come and talk about anything in my comment section and it's okay. And who the fuck would I be if here I am giving you guys my opinion, but I completely blocked all of you guys off from giving me yours. You know what I mean? Like that's just not fair. So that was the main reason why I just kind of did away with her channel because it just wasn't my thing anymore. So anyways, I was on my suggested videos list thing here on my channel and I saw one of her videos pop up and the title is what grabbed me initially because the original title before she changed it was something along the lines of I'm closing my channel or I'm quitting YouTube or something like that you know what I mean something the generic I'm leaving YouTube kind of title so I clicked on it because I really did feel bad because I was like even though I don't like her content at least I didn't for the last few months I was subscribed to her it doesn't mean I want her to fail I would never wish failure upon anybody because whatever you put into the world you get back tenfold you know what I mean I believe heavily in that shit so I genuinely felt bad for her because I thought something had happened. Like, it was not that at all. <laughs> you sit on here and say that your channel was a labor of love, that you did it because you loved to do it when you first started your channel, but you're not the only person who has uploaded content without getting paid for it. 
Let's take, for example, one of the biggest YouTubers of all time, Jenna Marbles. Before Jenna had a YouTube fame, if you will, she was bartending, go-go dancing, she wrote for Shoot Lala or something like that. Like, she had a whole variety of different jobs, and I'm fairly certain she kept all of those jobs all while she was making the content for YouTube and uploading it every day or whatever she did. And she didn't let go of any of those jobs until she knew for absolutely sure that this was going to be a steady income job for her, which it didn't take very long for her because she was one of the first YouTubers, obviously. And she's not the only one who has done that in the past. From PewDiePie to Michelle Phan, they all had jobs before YouTube. And they literally did this because it was fun. It was their hobby. They enjoyed doing it. They too saw it as a labor of love, but they were realistic about it. However, people will start a YouTube with the sole intention of making that their steady form of income. That that's their job, that's what they want to do, and that's it. And of course, staying at home day in, day out, and filming and editing whenever you want to, uploading whenever you want to, seems like a fairy tale situation to live in, and it probably is, but it isn't realistic. So Kendall, just from what you said in that first little sentence there, it sounds like you had all these high expectations for your channel to continue making as much money as it was for you, and then when it stopped doing so, you got mad, and now you're gonna take it out on your subscribers and try to make them fork out the money for it when it's really not their responsibility, and that is what I think is wrong. Um, and we don't get paid by view. That's something that I think people misunderstand. We only get paid if an ad shows on the video, which it's not gonna show on every single video you watch, so we're not making nearly as much as you think and being paid for one of these ads is like a couple cents. So it's very hard to make it on YouTube and make it a sustainable living. It is extraordinarily hard to not only make it on YouTube, but to live off of what you make off of YouTube unless you're literally making millions of dollars each month, which definitely doesn't happen for everybody. I don't know why everyone has this like delusion of grandeur. They're going to start their channel and be able to live off of it right away. It's just not going to happen. I'm sorry. It's just not a realistic thing. I have to make money on YouTube in order to keep doing it. If I can't make enough to just support myself and pay my bills, then I can't do this anymore. So I'd have to close my channel, which literally breaks my heart because I cannot afford to go get another full-time job and then do all this extra work on the side just for fun and for free. <laughs> one of the first parts that made me annoyed from this video was this one because it just, what you're saying to me, all I'm hearing is woe is me I now have to maybe quit my channel and actually go get a real job for a few months to make sure I have money. Like, God forbid I have to fucking actually work a job. Like, holy shit. One of the suckiest things about being an adult is the fact that you sometimes have to do something you don't necessarily always want to do. There are going to be times where you want to do something but you just can't afford to do it or you just can't physically do it. There are going to be times where you want something so badly, like you want to own it but you just can't afford to do it. You have to wait a couple months in order to get it. You have to do things you don't necessarily want to do. And this is one of those situations where if you really want your dream house that you just paid for, you just put a down payment for, if you really want to be able to pay your bills and be comfortable again, you're probably going to have to just suck up all your pride that you're obviously showing off right now and go get an actual job. You go get another full-time job and then do all this extra work on the side just for fun and for free. It's just not realistic. It's not going to happen. That also pissed me off because if this truly was a labor of love like you called it in the beginning and if this channel was that important to you that you definitely do not want to give it up even though you're pretty much facing the reality that you might have to you would make time you would put aside time after a busy day of work to film a video edit it the next day and upload it the day after that like maybe you have to upload maybe once a week or maybe even twice a week if you can afford to but if you 100% were devoted to your channel and you loved what you were doing this wouldn't be a matter of having to to make time or not being able to or it wouldn't be a matter of not being able to do this for free anymore like that's ridiculous if you guys want to see me continue to make content uh, that's free for you to watch then I need support the third part that just pissed me off please explain to me maybe I'm stupid I don't understand maybe I'm dumb maybe I'm naive maybe it's a mixture of the three but I'm really struggling to understand why these people should pay you to create content that literally costs you nothing to create so you're telling these people who have supported you from the beginning, who were there for you for your lowest times and your highest times, that if they want to continue to watch your content for free, that they have to help you out financially and they have to support you financially. Otherwise, it's just not going to happen anymore. That is wrong. 
Number one, you are not a beauty channel anymore. So you don't need to go to the drugstore and pick up a pack of makeup wipes that were just released from a certain brand to review them on your channel. That's not something you have to worry about anymore. You're not a fashion blog, so you don't have to worry about going to the nearest H&M, getting the new shirt and trying it on and hauling all these new clothes and things like that. All you do on your channel is conspiracy theory videos literally something that everyone can do for free on their own time on their own laptop in the privacy of their own home but you're going to charge them in order for you to keep doing these videos even though you pay nothing to create them where is the sense in that so it's been about an hour since the last clip to this clip just because i had to stop and do my wifely duties and make sure my husband had something to eat for dinner he had to go paint his sister's new apartment and i wanted to make sure that when he did go he wouldn't go on an empty stomach so I had to stop for a couple of minutes but now I'm back so let's continue. The bottom line is as someone who watched your video the way I took it was you were giving your subscribers an ultimatum basically. Either they donated the money to you and your channel would continue or if they didn't your channel was just gonna stop and there's nothing they can do about it pretty much. But here's the thing it's not your subscribers responsibility to fund your channel that's not what they're there for. Your subscribers are not a personal bank account where you can take out money whenever you need it. Your subscribers give you enough support by subscribing alone, sharing your content, commenting on it, viewing it. Just by being there when you upload your content, they're the ones who are supporting you, who are giving you the success that you have. So don't you think it's a little bit much to sit there and not only ask for money, but also to demand it pretty much by giving them an ultimatum? You know damn well your subscribers who are hardcore subscribers of yours who have been there from the beginning are going to donate money no matter what they have to do. And I'm sorry the award or reward tier you have going on for people who donate is ridiculous. Why the fuck should anyone pay you $50 for a fucking Twitter follow back? What does that bring to them? I'm sorry, but the minute my subscribers follow me on any social media, I follow them back. They don't have to pay me for anything. I literally, if I were one of your subscribers and I watched your video, I would feel offended by what you had said in that video because like I said, not only are you expecting them to cash this money out to you like that, you are demanding it pretty much. I'm sorry, but if you want your channel to continue and if you want to keep making making sure that you have money to do things, if money is the motivation for you to make your channel and to keep doing your channel, then why don't you get a fucking real job and get off your ass? I need help in order for this channel to survive. Without fan funding, this is not going to work. I can't continue like this. I can't change my content. So I need your help. I need your help to keep this channel alive. If I've ever helped you, if I've ever taught you something or encouraged you to love your body or it made you smile and laugh, please, please consider helping me. If I can't get to a decent amount on Patreon where I can at least cover my bills from that, I can't do this anymore. Then buy what you're saying right now, using that against your subscribers, saying that if I don't get your help, this channel is gonna die. Don't put that on them, that's on you, it's not on them. Grow up. You really do need to grow up and realize that what you're doing is wrong. To put up a page uh, like Patreon that like you're using right now, or even GoFundMe, which don't even get me started on GoFundMe. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I fully endorse that kind of thing. I obviously do not like when people use things like that for something as minuscule and as stupid as this, when you can easily fix your own problem by getting a fucking job once again. But if you really are that against going to get a job, at least be kind in the way you ask for things like this, because all you're doing is sound like an asshole like you're entitled to it like they're the ones who owe it to you because you made them smile like fuck off with that that's so rude i just want to be able to focus on the content because i love what i do i'm gonna be putting out merch soon it's i'm gonna be putting out merch soon it's, it's like been way harder than i thought <laughs> did she did what she just said well, I'm gonna rewind, rewind, go back. Rewind, that's it, rewind! I'm gonna be putting out merch soon. So she doesn't have money to pay bills. She's asking you guys for money to pay her bills for her, pretty much. She doesn't have the money for her new house because she's gonna lose her house because she doesn't have money. Her channel's not making any money, but she has no issue trying to create merchandise to sell to you guys. Do you guys smell? Do you guys smell that? I don't know if it's just me, but I keep smelling bullshit. Honey, 
what the fuck are you doing? You're demanding money from your subscribers, but you're spending your own money on merchandise. Wouldn't that money that you're spending on merchandise be better spent on the bills that you struggle to pay for with your channel? Wouldn't that money be better off spent on the house that you're about to lose because you can't afford it because of your channel? Am I wrong? Am I seeing this differently? Like, please tell me I'm not the only one who sees through this girl's bullshit. If you have money to spend on merchandise, which by the way, is super expensive to create, then why don't you have the money to keep your channel going? Why don't you have the money to pay the bills that you struggle to pay because of your channel? Why don't you have the money to pay off the fucking house that you're about to lose, at least you say you're about to lose, because your channel is doing very badly? Support small YouTubers, you know? Even if it's a couple dollars, like I said. Support people who need it, because we feel like at least I do, that YouTube's trying to push us off because we're not as easy to make money off of. So we need to fight back and the only way to do that is by having our fans support us and building a base that we don't need them. I would never ever ever ask you guys to give me any sort of monetary thing ever because I don't need it. If I can't afford it myself then I obviously don't need it that bad. And if I do want something I will work my ass off until I can afford to get it for myself because I don't need your money. The one thing that I hate about people like Kendall and Amy Slayton is the fact that all they care about is their situation. They fail to recognize the fact that there are people in this country who are struggling to survive to the next day. And maybe it's not that bad, but in some cases, in some very rare cases, it is. For instance, countries like Nicaragua, where my family's from. My grandmother used to do missionary trips there and she used to go to the thrift shops around Delray where we used to live and she used to collect clothing items, like little kids' clothing items, women's clothing items, men's clothing items. She made sure she would go to Nicaragua when she'd go to visit, but she would never go empty-handed. She'd go with food, shoes, toys, toiletries, clothing, whatever she could fit in her suitcase. She would bring more for the people of Nicaragua in the town that she was born and raised in than she would for herself. There are people in that town and she would tell me stories about it every night. Whenever I would be combative with her against eating food, if things had peppers in them, I would never want to eat it. And she would tell me, you have no idea how lucky you are to have this food in front of you because there are people back home in Nicaragua who are currently digging right at this moment, digging in huge, disgusting trash piles for any scrap of food to put into their stomach to have something in their stomach through the night. So they don't go to bed hungry. And more than half the time, the parents of the kids, they'll give the kids Kids food and they'll go hungry just to make sure their kids are fed at night. But you want to complain about fucking AdSense and fucking money for your channel? I can't pay for my house. I'm gonna lose my house. God forbid you don't get money from your channel. Get a fucking job. You don't need a check for money. What you need is a fucking reality check and I invite you to visit any fucking rural town in the US. You will find that there are so many homeless people especially in the bigger cities, not even rural anymore. If you go to any of the bigger cities like Miami, West Palm Beach, New York City especially, there are so many homeless people around the country. In Flint, Michigan, there are people who are still, after years of this whole dirty water shit being brought to the light on the news, people are still drinking and bathing in disgusting yellow water. But you want to complain about your channel not getting money? I just, to me, I cannot stand people like Kendall and Amy who think that their subscribers are in debt to them to give them whatever they need whenever they want it, whenever they need it. That is not the purpose of your subscribers. They came to your channel because they like your content. They found something in your content that made them happy, that made them smile, and to use that against them and to blackmail them by saying, well, if I ever made you smile or if I ever made you feel better about yourself, then can you please donate to me? And like, no, fuck you, bitch. Sorry, I'm not going to. And if you want, I'll give you my fucking smile back if that makes you feel any better because quite frankly, it's not worth it. But then again, like I say in all my videos, it's all up to what you guys think. It's up to your interpretation. I just bring you guys what I think and you guys can go off that if you'd like. But it all comes down to the fact that these YouTubers are getting too fucking comfortable with asking their subscribers for money to fund their channels. If you can't afford to have a YouTube channel, then you should probably get off YouTube and get a job before you start to think about making another YouTube channel because it's not going to be for you. YouTube is for people who genuinely like to create content and to have a subscriber audience who likes to interact with them and to talk to their subscribers. Like, 
like that's what I see YouTube as. It's my hobby. I love doing this. You guys are my subscribers and I would never in my life ask you for anything because I know that there are people in the world, even some of my subscribers who are currently struggling to make ends meet. So to ask that much of you guys would be insane and so selfish of me. But I guess that's just the way it is and not everyone believes in making an honest living and that's just the way things are. So anyways guys, I'm gonna get on off of here. I think I've made my point for tonight. I'm gonna edit this video and you guys will see it tomorrow, but I love you guys so, so much. As always, leave your comments and opinions down below. Let's have an adult chat and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Love you guys so much. Bye.